Does anybody else need a clear bag? 2006 and a failed terror plot to use liquid explosives on flights resulted in a restriction on travellers taking drinks, sun cream and toiletries on board planes. Eight years on, we're still restricted to what we can carry, but that could be set to change. This device is capable of cross-checking what's inside a bottle in just a matter of seconds. Paul, tell me how this works. Well, very simply, you take the bottle and put it into the system, close the door. It's very simple to operate. It's a five-second screen, and then at the end of it, it would tell you that it's clear, which means that it's safe to take on board. Inside the machine, a laser analyzes the contents of the bottle. It's able to identify within seconds the chemical composition of the liquid, and that is then cross-checked against a programmed library of banned substances. The product, which costs around £40,000, has already been supplied to more than 60 airports across Europe. Most of the content of, this, of the products are made in Britain. Um, we now employ twice as many people as we did a year ago. So, as I say, it's a great success story for the region and for the country. The trade body for UK airports told me European airports are spending in excess of 150 million euros in equipping passenger screening areas with the latest technology and that they're working to streamline the process to minimise the additional time it takes to test liquids. Even so, it could be some years before the existing hand luggage rules are changed. Stuart Tenworth, BBC South Today.